Okay, welcome back to Uncle Asni channel. In our previous lesson, we have learned how to make a survey. Now, it's time for us to make a quiz. What is the difference between a survey and a quiz? A survey doesn't have any right or wrong answer. It depends on the one who answered your survey but in a quiz we must set the correct answer so we can assign marks to the one who have the correct answer so how it is done first I wanted to press this blue box at the upper right hand corner of the Google form. Here we go. We are in the main screen of Google form. Since we want to make a new form, we have to press blank. Press on this plus sign. Now we have a fresh form. Okay, I wanted to put the question, the title as Maths Quiz. We can put in some description. So the one who will be taking this quiz will know what it is all about. Okay, let's say for question number one, one plus one equal to, we take multiple choice as our answering scheme. We put this thing as three. Two. the third answer is let's say we have it as 0 and the fourth one we make it as 4 and how to choose the right answer ok I wanted to press this setting ok we can check this thing so that the person who will be taking this quiz is required to enter his or her email address. Okay? We can also restrict the one who will be taking this exams or quiz is only from Brady Bunch based on the email. If you want to make this question as open, we can uncheck this thing. So anybody, regardless of an organization out of Brady Bunch, can also answer this question. So we restrict this thing. Only the one from our school can answer this question. We can also limit the response to only one. If we don't want the student to do our our quiz a lot of time, okay, we can limit the response to only once, and we can put in this thing if we if we allow the exam or the quiz taker to see the summary chart of the result. Okay, we can save this thing. and we go into this setting also we press presentation we can also put in show progress bar so that means the quiz taker we know what is 
his or her progress in the quiz. We can also we can also shuffle the questions. So everybody will have a different kind of question that is not in the same order. All right. I just uncheck this thing because I just put the number at the question. So if I shuffle this thing, all this number will be jumbled up. You can do this if you want to shuffle the question also. And okay, we press quizzes. This is where we set the marks. Okay, we just enable this thing. Make this a quiz. All right. So we can put things like how to release the grid. We can show the result to our quiz taker immediately. If you choose this, this one, if you want to keep the result to ourselves first and we release the result later. We can also check this thing, miss question. That means the student or the the quiz taker can look back at the at the question that they miss and they may answer it again we can also put in the correct answers after they answer the question so if the quiz taker is wrong it will show them the right answer okay the next one is point values we can show them what is the point for each of the question we press save now we have this answer key how to set the right answer we press this answer key and we choose which one is the right answer okay this is the right answer we just press this thing that means we have set this two as the right answer for question number one and we can assign point for this question if the quiz taker is answering it correctly we can put two points and all that i just put in one point and we are done that's all this is how we create a quiz you can add up a lot of questions after this based on your preference thank you very much